Cadillac Desert, Revised and Updated Edition, The American West and Its Disappearing Water, by Mark Reisner, is a seminal work that explores the history, politics, economics, and environmental issues surrounding water use and management in the American West. Reisner begins by describing the arid nature of the American West, where water is a scarce and precious resource. Despite this scarcity, the region has been transformed into one of the most agriculturally productive and populous areas in the United States. This transformation has largely been due to massive water projects that divert rivers, store water in reservoirs, and distribute this water through an extensive network of canals and pipelines. The book delves into the historical accounts of early European explorers and settlers who found a harsh and unforgiving landscape. Not daunted by the deserts and the daunting task of bringing water to arable land, visionaries and politicians like John Wesley Powell warned against unchecked development in the region, emphasizing the need for planning and sustainable water use. However, his advice went largely unheeded, leading to the rampant expansion of irrigation and agriculture, regardless of ecological limits. Reisner discusses the pivotal role of the federal government, especially through the influence of the Bureau of Reclamation and the Army Corps of Engineers. These agencies champion the construction of major dams like Hoover Dam on the Colorado River and the Central Valley Project in California. Their goals were to control floods, provide irrigation for agriculture, and generate hydroelectric power. The push for these projects was driven by a combination of political ambition, economic interests, and a deeply ingrained national ethos of manifest destiny in the conquest of nature. An array of colossal water projects reshaped the West. Reisner describes the staggering costs, both financial and ecological, associated with this engineering conquest. In many cases, projects were economically unjustifiable, supported by flawed data, or driven by the interests of a powerful few. Reisner exposes how water policy often resulted in prodigious waste, the destruction of ecosystems, and the marginalization of certain communities, particularly Native American tribes, whose lands and ways of life were disrupted by the water projects. The book details specific projects and their consequences. For instance, the Colorado River has been so heavily dammed and diverted that it now rarely reaches the sea. California's Owens Valley became a virtual desert after Los Angeles diverted its water supply through the Los Angeles Aqueduct. Reisner also paints a portrait of the Central Arizona Project, an immense system designed to bring Colorado River water to Phoenix and Tucson, highlighting the tenuousness of desert cities' reliance on distant water sources. In the latter part of the book, Reisner shifts focus to the future implications of past and current water management practices. As populations in the West continue to grow, the demand for water intensifies, leading to overallocation and depletion of rivers and aquifers. He illustrates how the law of the river, particularly the Colorado River Compact, is based on overly optimistic estimates of the river's flow and is inherently unsustainable. The reliance on groundwater, too, becomes a point of contention. Reisner describes the depletion of aquifers, such as the Ogallala Aquifer, which serves as a lifeline for much of the Great Plains agriculture. Overpumping of these underground reservoirs has led to dropping water tables, rendering some wells useless and threatening the long-term viability of agriculture in these regions. Throughout the narrative, Reisner weaves in stories of people who have fought against the wasteful and environmentally destructive water policies, including activists, scientists, and even insiders from the Bureau of Reclamation, who have raised alarms. Despite their efforts, Reisner depicts a water bureaucracy resistant to change and a society that has grown accustomed to cheap, abundant water. Reisner condemns the political processes that have allowed for environmentally harmful and economically dubious water projects to proceed, often in the form of subsidies to powerful agricultural interests and driven by entrenched bureaucracies. He calls out the tendency to solve water shortages with even larger and more expensive engineering projects, which only postpone facing the hard truths about water scarcity. The updated edition of the book, revised after its original publication, incorporates more recent developments and reflects on the continuing challenges posed by climate change, which is now acknowledged to further stress water resources in the American West.
Changing climatic patterns are expected to exacerbate droughts, alter precipitation regimes, and reduce the snowpack that feeds vital river systems, demanding urgent adaptation and rethinking of water policies. As the book concludes, Reisner points to the need for a comprehensive and sustainable approach to water management. He advocates for water conservation, the retirement of marginal agricultural lands, more equitable distribution of water, consideration of environmental needs, and a greater role for market mechanisms to allocate water efficiently. Ultimately, Cadillac Desert is a clarion call to acknowledge the limits of engineering solutions in the face of natural scarcity. It's a thoughtful examination of the consequences of a century of water management decisions and a warning that the American West may face a water-scarce future if substantive policy changes are not made. Reisner's work remains a crucial part of the conversation on the complex interplay between human ambitions, environmental stewardship, and the future sustainability of one of the most vital resources in the American West, water. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.